Robbing a store is one of the better ways in which you can make money in Red Dead Redemption 2, and what's nice is there's so many towns with so many different stores that you can hit really at any time you want. However, there is a downside with that, and if you're caught, not only are you going to get an extreme bounty on your head, but you're probably not going to be able to go back to that region without either paying it off or dealing with the consequences. Well, today, we're going to be talking about how you can rob any store in the game without getting caught without the players or without the citizens of the town knowing that it's Arthur. So here's what you need for a successful robbery without the townspeople knowing it's you. Number one, a bandana or face mask. So I'm not sure if the mask you're wearing has to say will like conceal your identity because I found this like pig mask that I thought was gonna work, but one time I did it and they still figured out it was me. So just to be safe, the bandana works well, the full face mask works really well too. Anything like that is going to be fine. That's step number one. Step number two, you have to wear a set of clothes that the town has not seen Arthur wearing. So if you have not ever changed your clothes, I would recommend going to your camp and then just selecting an outfit or mixing and matching a bunch of clothing items that you've never worn before and that should be good to go. Number three, you're gonna need a horse that the town has not seen Arthur riding in. Now, for me, I actually just didn't bring my horse into town, and that works perfectly fine. Uh, or you can just take another horse either from someone else, or you can bring another one from camp, and that will work perfectly fine too. Just as long as you don't like ride in with that horse, you know, multiple times and then do the robbery with that horse and you just leave it parked right outside the store you're robbing. Don't do that. And then after the robbery goes down, which it's pretty simple, you just walk into the store, you aim the weapon at the clerk, you take the money. If they fight back, you can choose to kill them. Uh, you just don't want the lawmen to see you. The lawmen are going to be those guys on the mini map whose icons are like the red eye. You don't want those people to see you. If those people see you, you're going to be in trouble and even with the disguise, they will recognize you as Arthur Morgan and you will get a bounty on your head. And if you've done this successfully, instead of them identifying you, Arthur Morgan, as the subject, they're going to identify an unknown suspect, which is, of course, what you want. And then once you have been able to leave the town, you should notice that the wanting investigating will eventually go down. And once that fully goes down, you are free to return to that town. Now, I would not return to the town on the same horse, wearing the same outfit and face mask. You probably want to change back to an outfit you're usually wearing or a completely different one, and I would go back to your regular horse. That way the townspeople don't know what's going on. Now, I'd really say the only two consequences of you doing what you've just done is it is going to decrease your honor, so you're going to become a more dishonorable character, and number two, that store is going to be closed for a temporary time. In my case, I shot the store owner in the face and he was the gunsmith. So I won't be able to go back to the gunsmith for a little bit. But that right there is a pretty quick tip on how you can rob stores in Red Dead Redemption 2, which is a really nice way to make money without getting caught. And this works like 100% of the time. So it's super easy. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you tried a method like this? If so, did you find it to be a success? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.